I think it's time to go through the project bags and figure out what the heck's even in here. And welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I am the knitwear designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Um, I think it's time to go through a ton of these bags. I mean, there's some project bags. I don't even know what's in them. Seriously. Like, we are going through all. All the project bags. I have not looked in this. Oh, jeez. Probably over a year. So I think we need to dive through and really figure out, are we frogging? Are we repurposing the yarn? Are we finishing the project? Like what is going on with these? Um, so yeah, so I don't really think that there's an order. I just want to pick up a bag and go through it. I'm going to be sharing the projects if they are patterns, um, link down below if it's, uh, like a pattern by me, if it's a pattern from another designer, I will link everything below for you guys. So the first bag I have is, uh, I absolutely love Stephanie, uh, the creative knitter. I adore her bags. And this one, um, this is sad. This is really sad. It's a pair of socks for my husband. And if you've watched my tutorials, this may seem familiar to you because this was the pair of socks that I used for the um, How to Knit with Magic Loop tutorial with a top-down sock. So the entire first sock is, is done. This is out of uh, Hoat Knit Yarns. Oh, thank God I have a tie. <laughs> Um, on her McQueen silk sock and it is in the fog foggy autumn morning. It's a really really nice sock yarn. Absolutely loved working with it um, but kind of fell out of love with just the project just because my husband's feet take so long to knit. Like these are big socks. Um, I even cast on the second one I am knitting on the leg. I mean, you guys, this is ridiculous. I should finish this. I should. Am I going to? I don't know. Don't actually know. Oh my goodness. I am about maybe, what, an inch and a half? Two, two inches from starting the heel? Come on, Julie. I should finish this and add it to his box of socks for um, this winter. So I did use a heel flap and gusset, um, 2.5 millimeter needle. And then for the heels, toes, and cuffs, I used Knit Pick Strill in Cobblestone Heather. Like again, the second one's already cast on. I just need to knit around and around and do the heel flap and gusset and finish it. All right, I'm going to finish this. This. This is going to be done. When? I don't know. I would like it to be done for his box of socks so that it would... Um, I mean, the second one's already cast on. The color is beautiful. It just needs... It needs to be done. All right. I feel encouraged to finish this project. This one. This one's going in the you shall be done pile. Um, yeah, you shall be done. And putting it on. All right, so the next bag, um, this is from the Tangle Stitch Shop. It's a, just a super cute holiday bag that I purchased a few years ago from, um, from her shop. And it is a, a half-finished dishcloth with no needles. <laughs> Look at this mess. I think we all know what's going to happen with this one. This is getting frogged. Like, this is just getting frogged. Now, frogged, for anyone who does not know, means ripping it out because um, the motion of ripping, you can say rip it, rip it, rip it as a frog. So that's a fun um, 
silly term that we use in knitting. So frogging means ripping it up. So rip it, rip it, rip it. So yeah, that one, that one's getting ripped. Now, is that a ton of work? Absolutely. But I'd rather like cake this up properly, really enjoy it. Um, I don't even know what needles I used. No, that's a lie. I either always use a US 7 or a US 8. Um, and it was just a simple grandma's favorite dishcloth pattern. And this is Knit Picks Dishy Multi. I want to say Dandelion Patch, potentially. Um, Knit Picks Dishy is my favorite cotton yarn for dishcloths. I do get asked that quite a bit. Um, absolutely, they are my favorite for dishcloth. I don't know why, I just really enjoy working with them. Um, so, yeah. I wish all these projects could be like this easy on deciding to frog or not to frog. So yeah, so this is getting frogged. Um, well, it, it already is, Julie. This is frogged. Um, we are going to cake it up really pretty. And we are going to be putting that back in the stash. And this project bag is uh, potentially going to be going up. I might do it for a giveaway. I have so, so much beautiful yarns and things. So this cubby that you see right here is pretty much almost all of it for, give for giveaways just because um, the Patreon group, we have monthly knit-alongs and we do that. I also love giving away some stuff here on the podcast. So take a look out for that. Um, yeah, so I'll add this potentially in the giveaway pile. All right. What else? What else do we have? Let's just pick up at random. This is in a bag by Daisy Girl Company. Absolutely, absolutely love her bags. They are fun peekaboo bags. And this project, oh my, this is old. Like four years? I'm embarrassed to even pull this out. Is this four years old? I don't even remember when I cast this on. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I was still using Addies. Oh my goodness. Needles are half taken out. So this is Arno, uh, Arnos. Arnie and Carlos in their Regia line. Now this, okay, Regia or Regia, however you say it, is one of my all-time favorite sock yarns. I love, love, love this yarn. So this is going to get frogged, and I think I'm just going to crank out a big, beautiful long tube on my circular sock machine, cut in for some heels, toes, and cuffs in a beautiful, like, red or green color to go with it. I think that that would be just beautiful. So this was cast on four years ago. Yeah, the girls, the girls, the girls were born, I think. I don't know. The girls are going to be five in January. That just goes to show how old these socks are. These will not, like I said, I'm going to repurpose the yarn and I'm just going to crank them out on my sock machine so that I can get these beautiful socks and I'm thinking of using some fun heels toes and cuffs for some contrast color maybe a beautiful red or green or even that white um the stroll glimmer white from knit picks love using that for some holiday socks so yeah so this one is um yeah going in the frog pond um but is going to be repurposed for another time and then the bag is going to be repurposed as well I love, love Sherry's bags. So that one I'm just going to put in a pile. I'm not going to frog on camera every single one of that. That would, that would, this would take a while. Um, but yeah, so really happy to repurpose that yarn for a brand new pair of socks because I do love Regia so much. It is one of my favorite, favorite sock yarns. Time for coffee. All right, next up. This is getting frogged. Okay, this big hole. So this, I test knit last year um, from Knit by Joan. 
knit by Joan. She had came out with um, her little hat that I test knit for the girls and the size and it's absolutely beautiful. I'll put a picture right here. Absolutely love knitting it. Um, and then I cast on, this was actually the first sample I cast on. It was supposed to be for the girl's size. Um, obviously, obviously was not. Um, this is huge. And for some odd reason, um, there, there was a huge hole in the hat. Don't know why. I think it was the yarn. So this is Knit Picks Fable Fur. Don't remember the color. Um, but yeah, so I was hoping to save this and knit up one for my husband, but with this huge hole, I'm just going to rip it out, save the yarn, and cast on more. I really do love that pattern. It is something that I want to do, and I want to knit for the whole family. Um, I do even have yarn picked out for the girls and my husband, so that's definitely something I do want to cast on um, coming soon-ish, because we're in East Coast Canada, and it gets cold. It gets very cold um, and these hats would be perfect so this is definitely something I want to repurpose the yarn I'm gonna have some fun trying to figure out how to find these little tiny tails that I've already woven in the ends okay so this is gonna be a struggle oh 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 we have one here um, yeah so it's just gonna take a little bit because Fable fur in this type of yarn is very fiddly to try to pull back or rip out. I definitely don't want the yarn to go to waste because this size took up an entire skein of the Fable fur. So I really, really, um, I really want to repurpose this. So as much as I possibly can. So yeah, this one is getting cast on in the future, but we need to rip that out. It's so soft. Crazy soft. All right, this feels good, guys. I like this. What are you? Huh, okay, well, keep going on the same pattern. I did mention that I picked out for the girls. So this is Knit Picks Fable Fur. This one is in the colorway Paloma. It's a super bulky weight yarn really really crazy soft and I had already picked out um, the yarn for the girls so I was hoping that one of them could pick we had frosting and blossom heather so the way that this pattern is done is that you knit the lining in the super bulky and then you knit the top out of a worsted Aran weight um, so you kind of match them together so this was a combination that I had thought of and I wanted to cast on and I just put the yarn in a bag and apparently it just went in storage. So I need to ask because Chloe now, used to love pink, but now she's, blue is her favorite color. So I need to figure out if I have like a gray so that I can use up some blue because blue is her favorite color now, not pink. So mommy needs to get the program. And this is out of a beautiful bag from Hobie that I'm excited to use up again. Really love this one. So yeah. I will put that away in my yarn cubbies. Alright, next up, that's it for that. That one we're saving. What's in here? So this one is in my Maple Moose Fibers bag. Um, this is something that I bought when I first started knitting about almost 10 years ago. She sadly no longer makes bags. Oh, I love this. Okay, this is definitely getting cast on um, somewhat soon because the weather is going to start to get cold and the girls need their second cupcake hat. This is a kit that I snagged from Whitney of Moonglow. And you can still purchase this on her website. So this is the cupcake hat. You cannot buy the pattern separately. You can only get it with the kit from her shop. I mean, come on. Try to focus on the hat, not me, the hat. It's absolutely adorable. Um, if you get the 100 gram skein kit, it's enough for two hats. If you get the 50 gram, it's enough for one hat. So um, this is in the colorway. Oh dear. Am I going to remember all of them? 
brown sugar. And this is all on her DK weight base. Uh, is this frosting? Potentially. And this one is Pink Paradise. Like, I have everything in this bag. I even have the jumbo pom-pom maker that I used. I have all the mini skeins. So this kit that Whitney's, Whitney offers in the shop comes with the pattern. It comes with the three skeins that you need of yarn, of DK weight. Um, it's a little bit of a mess, but... And you get the minis to make the sprinkles in fingering weight. Try to grab them all. There's six different colors that Whitney came up with. And they are all available. They're all available with the kit. So that's definitely something I, oh my, I love so much. And I know the girls are going to be crazy excited to wear it. So I do need to cast on, I do need to cast on the second one. And just have it on my needles. It is a really fun and easy knit. Um, so Whitney decided to crochet these. I cannot crochet to save my life. So um, I did, um, it's written in the pattern, it is I-cord. So if you can't crochet, like me, do not worry. Um, you can just do the I-cord. I love it so much. Yeah. I need to cast on the second one. It's just been waiting in the bag and I love it and I just need to um, organize all of these yarn strings. Put that back in there for later. Nobody needs to know. Well, except for you guys. But yes, that is a pattern that I adore and I'm definitely going to cast on the second one um, within the next month because like I said, it gets cold here. All right, we need a, another sip of coffee and then we keep going. This is so much fun, I love it. Okay. Um, did we go through? We did not. Okay. The next one is in a homeless fun house bag. I do know what this one is and I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> So this is Molly of a Homespun House in her Good Vibrations kit. So it's a mini mini skin kit. It comes with five 20 gram minis. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at this mess. Look. Look at this mess. I'm almost embarrassed to show this off. Oh my god. We're gonna do a um, pause break um, for me to be able to um, untangle this. probably took way longer than it should have but if you know anything about me there is one thing that I hate and actually yes the word hate I hate untangling yarn I would rather weave in so many ends than untangle yarn so just goes to show how much I love this pair of socks and yarn to untangle that mess um so yeah so this like I said is the good vibrations mini skein set from Molly of a homespun house and I decided to use up my pattern gravel path and I just changed the mini skein um, every 10 or 12 rounds. And I'm almost done with the first sock. And I love it. Like, I don't know why I don't finish it. I really love it. I love the pattern. I love the yarn. Just other things, other things took priority. So I'm doing these, um, yeah, I will finish these. Um, they're just fun to have in the background. 
when I'm in between designs. I really, really love that. So yeah, I will link uh, the gravel path pattern down below. I do have it both in DK and in fingering weight. And look, you guys, they are all perfect and separated. I'm so proud of myself. So now this can all go back in the little tiny bag um, without a mess, which I'm very excited. So this will be finished some, sometime. No deadline for that one. Uh, this one I see a big needle popping out because that's safe. <laughs> okay, this one is also getting done because I'm actually going to be teaching a course um, next month, October 13th and 14th, if you are local, I'm going to be teaching a course at uh, Sisterhood Fiber, and uh, they are in Tatamagush, Nova Scotia, New uh, Canada, and I'm going to be teaching a class on uh, my pattern Scrappy Socks, so we're going to be going through how to combine yarns um, using different kind of uh, companies. We're going to be going through how to change your colors, how to weave in your ends, also how to weave in ends as you go, and how to make using up your scraps a beautiful pair of unique socks. So this mini skein set is from Polka Dot Creek. I actually still have the tag. Um, I purchased this last year. It's their micro mini bundle, one of a kind. They're earthy. So it is 12 10 gram minis. And I really love this. Um, I've been wanting to knit up the second sample for the class so that I will have it. Um, and I'm not going to try and take out these 12 little minis. I am just going to show you the inside or try to show you the inside of this bag. Um, yeah, so I put in my needles because I'm like, you will be done. You will finish this. Absolutely adore the yarn love the project, so I can't see why I wouldn't. Um, and the, this is definitely something that's on my to-do list very soon for that class, so. And this is also in another bag from Stephanie of the Creative Knitter. Little socks. Friends, we're almost done. All right, what's in this one? This was in a maple mousse fiber bag, I do, or maple mousse. I don't think they make bags anymore, but it's like the faux fringe um, bag that I purchased. Oh my gosh, I need to finish this before this doesn't fit them anymore. I, I even ripped out the needles. I was designing a fun, cute pattern for the girls. It was a color block sweater out of Hobie unicorn yarn. So this is their unicorn solid and their unicorn speckle. This is ridiculous. It's holding fingering weight double. I am almost done with the body. Like, come on, Julie. Yes, I'm going to finish this. Now it's going to be to remember what the heck I did for the pattern, the stitch count, because did I write it down? No. This was one of those that I kind of just like designed on the fly, which I never do. And of course I didn't finish or write it down. Dear Lord. So this is in Unicorn Solid, the colorway 19, which is a 7525, amazing to work with. And this is in their Unicorn colorway 2. So for the size that I'm knitting, I have one skein, um, of the speckle that I divided into two because I'm holding fingering weight double and then I also have one skein of the yellow. So I remember my goal was to, so the yellow took up a lot because of the yoke. I'm going to be finishing the body in the purple and then um, I'm going to be dividing this leftover into two finishing the sleeves as much as I possibly can, and then doing the same thing with the purple so that they are um, symmetrical, so they're, that they're the same size for the little sweater. Yeah, I need to finish this this fall because um, it, it won't fit them anymore. And I am not ripping out all this knitting because it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, Julie, Julie, Julie. Yep. 
Like, look at that, guys. <clears throat> it's just perfect. I love it. I cast this on over a year ago. Or earlier this year. I don't remember. But I love these together. They're super cute. It's a fun color block sweater. Very simple. Um, okay. I'm finishing this. I'm finishing it. All right. Okay, so this is another set. We have some heels that are missing. Okay. This was the yarn of the month for April. This is out of Artistic Lily. And I'm missing one heel. This is embarrassing. One heel. And this entire pair of socks is done. That's it. I just need to put on a movie. I need to put on a movie. One Hallmark movie. Cut in. Done. Another sad one. This was the February yarn of the month uh, for Patreon Cozy Knitter. Same thing. Missing one heel. That's it. So obviously these are not getting ripped out. I will be putting in the heel. Potentially, actually, you know what? Keeping these out and I'm doing this today because it needs to get done. Um, now I need to find the mini skeins that go along with this. Should be somewhat easy. Shouldn't be too, too difficult. But yes, yeah, so these are going to get their heels and they will be done. Don't know why, why I do this. I just like leave an entire pair of socks just for one heel. All right, the last, last project. This one, I am still unsure of what to do with it because the yarns together are incredible. So this is the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along of 2021. Oh, the yarn, the yarn. Okay, let me show you off. Last year I had even bought the tote. Now one of the biggest reasons I did not finish is because I do not like the border. Now I know I can switch it out and that's potentially what I'm going to be doing. I do not like the border that he chose. Also, I figured out I am not a person for a mystery knit along just because I like planning. I like being able to really see, um, yeah, what's going on. And I love seeing different examples of people that have knit it and then I can knit based on what I would like. Um, so yeah. All right. I don't even know what colors I have in what order, but we will go. So this is Sweet Skein of Mine in Hike. Um, this was actually someone had so generously, I have no idea who it was, gifted this skein of yarn to me. And I just needed to use this in the pattern. It just brought me so much joy uh, that somebody would do that. This one is Pineapple Yarns. I want to say it's Seagull Attack. And then we have uh, Camp Fiber Yarns in Dark Tiramisu. I have Camp Fiber Yarns in Tiramisu, two of my favorite colors from Laura. This is Camp Fiber Yarns in a single one of a kind, I think. I don't know if she had a name for that one. And then I decided to add in a Surrey um, of her Elder colorway. For the gray. Like if this is not a Julie color palette. <laughs> and then I wanted a pop of the pink just because I really do like this pink and I think it goes really really nicely with all of these. So it's not that I don't like the yarn. I love the yarn. Like I love these so much and I would love to use a project with them and I do think that it'd be a beautiful project. Um, I don't... is this still clue one? I potentially might be still on clue one. And then I stopped because I was knitting it and then someone was like, Julie, you, um, those little bumps, there's an error. And I was like, are you kidding me? So this is how it looks. This is the, so this is all going to be, um, stretched out. So you can see all the different colors. 
and then I was using the Surrey as those beautiful bumps. So it's not that I don't like it. I was in the middle of these bumps. I do love the project. I think it's beautiful. The yarns together are my jam. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's one of those projects that I would feel so accomplished once it's finished. Um, I have not had the heart to rip it out because I do love it. Also, I have never finished a Stephen West pattern. And this is something that I feel like I need to at least do. Don't know why. <laughs> but I just feel like I need to do one of his shawls and it's just beautiful. Like, I really love it. And I do know that there's other options out there um, for other patterns, but I really love this. I love the loops, but I hate the border. So I do know that some people use like a different one of his other designs and, and incorporated that border. I think that's something that I would do um, really more my aesthetic. So I do think that it's just one of those pieces that I would probably not even wear and just like hang up in my office to be like, I did this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know below. But I, I do like it. I'm seeing it and I'm proud of it. Um, I see this and I love my colors. The only one that I'm not... I don't know. No, I, I like them all. But at the same time, I'm like, do I like this white there? Would I have rather like a darker? But I'm like, Julie, don't rip this out. This is too beautiful to rip out. You've already like woven in your ends as you went and everything. I don't know. So that's why it's been kind of sitting there because I just, I don't know. So this is the only one that I think is kind of unknown. Um, if I were to rip it out, I would definitely repurpose this yarn just because I think that they are incredible together. And um, they look so good. I think all of these are camp fiber. And I really love it. Dark tiramisu, tiramisu, elder in Surrey. And then I think this is a one of a kind in a black. Not 100% sure. Yeah, this is, this is my jam. These are my colors. I love it. And then I just love how these two go with it. Like it just complements um, this palette. So we shall see. We shall see. I'm not 100% sure what, what I want to do yet. So that's why it's in timeout. Yeah. So that's all the projects that I have lying around and um, in in my buckets, in my totes, everything. So I hope that this has encouraged you to maybe look through your projects and figure out, you know, if you're going to keep them, if you're going to frog them, what you're going to do with them. I absolutely love going through these. Like I said, I've not gone through these in over a year, if not longer, because that pair of socks was like four years old which is crazy. But yeah, so I hope that you guys liked this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button um, and you won't miss out on any other videos. So as always, happy knitting, friends. Catch you next time.